soot, nicotine, black gold, precisely. Perfect yarn. The yarn is a form of art. The art of yarn, yarn art. Christ! I can hardly talk nonsense for two minutes now, some buzzards crawling down my pants. OK, then move on, Sardine. Louis Lucky. I'm moving as fast as I can. It's a black hole in here. Turn on the light. So spiritual. What a dumb. I can't feel my back anymore. I've got a hatchet in my head. Don't be stoic. That's the beginning of all endless circles, you know. Panting like a seal, the air's unbreathable. Oh, I can hardly see a thing. I cannot see a thing, period. It's funny, I can see myself. Oh, just as much as better. Oh, You're better for it. Just as much better, you the better for oh, it. Shut up. Look. At what? The light. What? The end of the tunnel. Don't see anything. Well, how can you not see it? Nah, you're losing it. But You mean I'm seeing things? That's right. What well, if there is no end? You're a pure illusion. What? No end. No shit. I won't give up. What's the point of going on? I'm stopping. Ollie, wait up. He stopped. He just stopped. Just like that. He said I'm stopping. And he generally does what he says. Good. I'm stopping too. My other half stops. I stop. No, everybody stops. Stop. I don't want to waste my time looking for an end. I've had enough. Suits me better to tell you the truth. It was awfully slow going there for a while. We're moving forward, dear master, but it feels like wallowing. It's undignified. He could grind on cupcake, but was just as happy to stop the machinery. Not for long. What did he say? He said he'll be done soon. There's no mistaking it. He always says the same thing. So we'll be back to it soon. He always does what he says. Let's get back to it. I'll get my head into it. See, like I told you, let's get back to it. He always says what he's got in his mind. Straight ahead. Oh! It's slow! Expressions. You think we're on a submarine? If my jaw's gone numb on the right side. Then drew on the left. Clever. It's a bobcat. Don't you still see your little lights at the end? Sorry. I don't wear contacts. Yeah, and you would have thought it's Columbus just now. Land ho! Show's over. No more pink elephants. Short sighted. But I still saw light a little while ago. It's true! Everybody makes mistakes. Poor Bobo. Oh! Oh! Oh, I've twisted my ankle. Oh! I can't go any further. Oh! I'm laid up. Oh! By the way, unless when George stops, everybody stops. But when I stop, nobody stops. OK, let's have a rest. Thank you, Granddad. Stay to your left. Show, Ollie-o. 
I need a plate. Plate? What for? To break. And my show? Well, that is the show. You got a plate, Bob? Get one from the pile, Georgie. Here? There are no plates here, boy. Whereas we do have nail polish. Doing a careful job. Some pink elephants. You don't want a pink elephant, do you? We're in a veritable jungle here. Besides, elephants won't get you anywhere. Oh, really? Elephants don't break. They are not made of porcelain. A plate to take out your anger on. You can whistle for it. You can't do your nails with plates. That's what the polish is for. What do you think? I don't know. I've got to calm down. I can't go on like this anymore, George. Hang in there. Smooth strokes of the brush. That'll keep you calm. You can hardly find a cracked plate down here. What do you want? A plate or a complete set with matching glasses? Right, let's move on to other matters. I've got the Chinese. Luck, man! What has he got this time? I mean, I've got a Chinese puzzle in my head. And the screw's loose. My head's all full of spools. So, tidy things up a bit. Have yourself a little washing up. Yeah. Sort the wording, add some bleach. Wash it out. Try imagining you are somebody else. Someone worthy. Add a second coat, piece of cake. I couldn't care less about being someone worthy. I like to smash plates when my knickers are in a twist. Ask the coolie to put the dishes away. This is ridiculous. Somebody stick up to me. Uh, me. I've got a Chinaman in my head, a crazy one. And I've got a bun on my head. Oh, funny one, Daphne. Pass me the polish. I've got all my marbles. Good for you, cuz. Let it dry. <laughs> I'll wash the dog and Bob. Get my being called Bobby down in Bexy. Filthy pooch. Dogs can be touchy too, you know. And what about my little nut? What am I going to do about that? Oh! Oh! Such violent reflexes, Mum! I don't like violence. And that boy is stronger than Gurley. Oh, stop this childishness, Gurley and Granny. I keep thinking I'm going to blow everything up. I keep thinking 
I'm going to set up World War III. I even thought of derailing the train, but I didn't dare because of the explosives. I was afraid it was going to break the meter and the whole sack along with it. Dirty talk. Mm. That's worrisome, especially for a train. Especially for a train as crowded as the one we just saw pass. That was an express. Mm, bad times. Good thing it passes only once a year. What? I said it comes only once a year. What did he say, George? He seems to be saying that the train is at full speed only once a year. What? Only one? Oh, he's full of it. The train only passes once a year. Who's ever heard of such a thing? He's pulling your leg, George. Maybe the crossing guard is telling the truth. Better once a year than not at all. He's joking. You're joking, right? No. I know that train by heart. It passes every 365 days at 12.10. It never stops and it's never late. Well, it must be really. I mean, insanely crowded on there and it passes once a year. You've got a good way in advance for a train like that. Not at all. It's routine. There's a single line and it's a regular old train. Not bad, that. Yeah. Surprising, though. Do you work from home? No, in hell! Oh, is it? We got the flat with the job. We live just over the railroad crossing. Oh. Oh, that must not be much fun. What with the noise and all? There only one comes through every once a year, it's not much bother. One bad night a year, cushy job. Good. Is it a hard line of work? It's not like the old days. The choo-choos are all gone. We glide supersonic now. Ah, so no more shoveling coal, no more bubbles. If the train only passes once a year, you must be as bored silly. Oh, not really. I've got used to it. And I have to get up every day to water the cactus in my head. Ah, oh, that's your problem. You've got cephalalgia. You should have said that earlier, George. We didn't know he had cephalalgia. Migraine, I'm pretty sure. Can't you say migraine like everybody else, George? That's a word for cretins. I'm a worldly chap. Well, you should pick the right day. It's the train's day today. We noticed. That thing was moving like there was no tomorrow. That's what I said to George. George, did you see that train? It hardly arrived before it was already gone. Flew off. Whoosh, whoosh. Then gone. The idea of it. I've got another worry. Ah, ah, another fish ah, to ah, I've got troubles. Ah, I'm afraid in the dark. He comes in the dark in morning. Who? Luzerne! He says troubles come in the dark. He said the train comes in the dark. If it comes in the dark in the morning, that's illogical. I said it comes in the dark in morning. Bob, you Bob in this? No. Tell him his offer is wobbly. <laughs> it's all about... Uh... I've just figured it out. Hold on, George. Bobinho is going to explain it all to Shut us. Shut up! You believe in Satan. He doesn't exist, sir. I'm terrified. Is he yellow, <clears throat> red-skinned or black? You're talking about Satan! <laughs> Who else did you think he was talking about? 